patient J0801. You've returned for treatment at Arkham Asylum under your own volition. Would you care to explain why? High five, Cash. Man, do me a favor and don't come back. What happened to Bob? Something came up. He sent me instead. Well, Bob is my number one guy. And I don't need a pair. So who are you? I'm Johnny. Johnny Chill. Well, Chili, there's only one thing a man wants when he's been locked away this long.
boss wants you to keep it down. Tell him to say it to my face. Hey, take it easy on him. <laughs> it's his first day out. Joker! Hey, Joker! <laughs> I don't know where Bob found you, Slick. But no one bosses the boss. Two sodas. Look, no offense, Mr. J. But you're not the Prince of Gotham in here. A lot's changed since you've been away. Do the people still blast a light in the sky in the shape of a formed possum? Yeah. Then things haven't changed! They just gave it a new face, called it by a new name. But an ace is always an ace, kid. This town isn't made for quitters. It cuts through the weak like fat and serves up the strong until they're rotting carcasses for the rats. But if you've got enough guts to stomach goth, if you want something bad enough, real bad, then you can make it happen here. Boss wants to see you. Ooh, you. Oh, oh. <laughs> About time we got some service around here. Prince of Crime himself. Haven't you read the paper, Croc? I gave up the life of crime. I hadn't heard that. Yeah, well, it was written in the funny papers. Or maybe your boy just wasn't much of a talker. Is that? <laughs> Croc, you scally bayou breath bastard. Didn't your mama ever teach you not to talk with a mouthful? <laughs> hey. They don't teach hospitality at the freak show. But you already knew that, you bony, toothpick half bubble plum. <laughs> I've got a lot of meat on this bone. Or well, maybe I ought to barbecue you two jokers then. If you're gonna serve me, Croc, do it with a smile. <laughs> in here, but we'll put the coffee maker in the torture room. Long nights and all that. Thought you were out of crime. Oh, I am. I'm more into chaos now. <laughs> <laughs> We'll need to test out the new gags for the big show. And for that, we'll need an audience. Oh. 
We'll come back in the morning for Croc and the rest of his gang. Come on, Johnny. Training days tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Running Batman's errands, Chili? as the last one. Now, I know he doesn't come without you. So tell me, where is the Batman? I don't need Batman to take down a scumbag like you. Well, aren't you a hero? You know, I almost thought you had an edge to you, kid. Hell, I'd even say I liked you for a spell there. But then, you went and put a knife into my back. Which wasn't a very nice thing to do. Mm -mm, no, no, not to your dear old Uncle Joker. I don't know how Bats has raised you, but in my house, in my house, Children have to grow I, This is an old one. I, let me know if you've heard it before. A man wearing a red hood rides into a poor village. Anybody? He stops at the biggest sheep farm and he asks to see the shepherd. He says, shepherd, I'm lost. Can you point me in the right direction? <laughs> shepherd says, no, no. Instead, I need your help. He gives the man a three-legged dog, blinded in both eyes, and so forth, commands this dog to see him on his way. I followed the Joker out of Arkham. <laughs> oh, God, I'm dying up here. He left me for dead. But the man is curious. Uh, check my coordinates. So he says, a wealthy man such as yourself. Surely you can afford a better dog. <laughs> the shepherd refutes it. Oh, he says, this dog, this dog has saved my life many times. Come on, soldier. Come on, soldier. Bears, bandits, wolves, any predator you could imagine, this dog has fought back. <laughs> so the man asks, this dog, this dog, would give his life for you. And the shepherd chuckles, of course. You betrayed for this your life. But a dog this loyal. Red boy, blue boy. I couldn't eat them all at once. Get her out of here. Doctor. I said get her out of here! <laughs> <laughs> 